So last month I got myself a £20 voucher when I did my car insurance with Halfords and I wanted to get myself one product that I would never in a million years buy. And I come up with this right here, the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solution Ceramic Acrylic Black Car Polish. Wow, that's a mouthful. Now the best way to describe this product, and I'm gonna simplify this as much as possible, is to think of it as something a bit like Auto Glim Super Resin Polish with black bits in. That's probably as good as it's gonna get for dumbing it down. Now this is an all-in-one, it's gonna remove those swells, minor scratches, and a bit of oxidization as well, but they have added two key ingredients, SiO2 and acrylic polymers. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you a little bit more durability and it's gonna give you an extended level of gloss as well. So if you remember the good old days of using Colour Magic, then think of it as a newly improved version of that. And I've got to admit, I was a bit sceptical. When I thought I had this in my hand, I was thinking, hang on a minute, we've been here before with the old stuff. And how can a black polish enhance a black car? Because it's not going to be going through the clear coat and going underneath now, is it? So I wanted to test this out on the harshest of paintwork ever. And we managed to source this BMW right here. And as you can see, it spent most of its life in the hand car wash. There's swells, there's scratches, you name it. This has had every single thing thrown at it. So I wanted to see what type of result we could get just from polishing by hand. So let's be very clear here before we start because this isn't the sort of thing that a professional detailer would buy. This is just for somebody who doesn't have a machine polisher or an enthusiast who just enjoys cleaning their car and they just want to enhance their paintwork, not completely restore it. Now you can use a machine polisher, but most of you watching this video today are probably going to be watching this because you want to learn to do it by hand. So that is going to be the route that we're going to be taking for this demonstration. Before you start using this, make sure you give it a good shake. And when you're applying it by hand, use two to three small size blobs. And I've got to add that this polish is highly concentrated, so a little will go a long way. Before you start using this polish, make sure you're giving your car a very good clean for starters, and also keep it out of direct sunlight, keep it in cool, shady conditions, and make sure that you've got good lighting as well. So for once today, I finally got it in a nice studio where I can work on it properly. We've got the nice lighting on it as well. So you're going to get to see exactly how this really looks. So what I'm going to do is apply a few sections at a time. Now I am applying it in circular motions because it says it on the bottle so don't question the method I'm just using it here because this is exactly how they would say but I do understand people do like to polish in a crisscross pattern as well. And I didn't leave it long before buffing off and I was expecting some sort of powdering or even streaking due to the feedback that other people were giving but I saw none of that and it was pretty easy to work with and it merely took a few minutes to do one side. So this polish does have a few benefits, but it does have a few drawbacks as well. And this is why I chose this one today, because it has a cure time of 24 hours, being SiO2 as well. So that means you could apply it on the Saturday, and you're going to have to wait a whole 24 hours before you apply a wax on top. Now that's all well and good, but if you're cleaning your car outside and then it rains overnight and you get sandstorms and dust and God knows what, you're going to find it's going to interfere with the results. So you're then going to have to wash the car again and you might be a little bit disappointed because you haven't done it the proper way. So unless you're going to be sticking it inside, it can be a bit of a downer. So this BMW paint was horrific, so I knew it wasn't going to make any miracles. But when you compare both panels, you can see a slight difference. And no, it didn't remove all the scratches, but yes, it did remove minor swells. And I'm going to be using it again next week on our Fiat 500 because I want to see whether it's going to vastly improve the paintwork on that because the paint isn't as bad as this BMW. Whether you like turtle wax or not, this polish is a quick and easy way of enhancing your paintwork. And the results don't lie. It did enhance the BMW paint. And I'm gutted I couldn't put anything else on top. And I'm intrigued to see how it looks when I go back next week. But for a car cleaning enthusiast or a beginner, it will give you an alternative to machine polishing. And if you have a black car and you want it to look nice, this could be the answer you're looking for. But please don't think this is a long-term fix because it isn't. It's not going to last forever, nothing does. If you want to make your black car look its very best, make sure you get a proper compound and a machine polisher. And if you want to know all about decontaminating your car before you do that, then go watch this video right here, right now. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.